people are realizing that democracy is like parents who tell their kids, you can have the peas or the carrots, but you have to eat one or the other. Those peas and carrots are like the Republicans and the Democrats in this country. And they tell us we're free, and it's democracy to decide which of these people we're going to select so we can have either a Democrat or a Republican continue torture. A lot of us are here today uh, for different reasons. The American people are here to speak. We're here to fight big corporation. It's time for anarchists, socialists, all different groupings to get together and form a social movement. I decided to come out in Occupy LA to support all the occupations that are occurring right now. I came out here to represent the other people besides the Tea Party. I'm tired of, uh, of the corruption and uh, uh, the social inequalities in this country that aren't being addressed. Most of us want to see major changes. We need changes and that's why we, there is no message. There's, it's, it's, there's a dictionary of meanings of why people are here, and it's just time to stand up in general. Make your own reasonings and get out. A people's movement is what's going to bring about the change, not any politician. Some of us just want to see GE pay their taxes. I'm just tired of the, uh, the moneyed interests that have uh, taken over and corrupted, uh, corrupted our government. When we saw the Supreme Court give corporations personhood, meaning that they were going to be able to to put as much money as they wanted behind whatever politician that was basically going to support their cause. I do believe that corporations and government are in bed together, that corporations can't afford lobbyists that allow them to get away with things that the common people can't. I cannot afford a lobbyist to go and sit in Washington, D.C. and have a voice for me. We need to get uh, uh, the economic, uh, basically the money out of politics. Uh, the, right now, that's, that's, that's all it's about. Um, there's just, uh, if, if you don't have any money, you don't have any say in government. It's because of this that the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer. Our country is only as strong as our weakest link, and that is us. We are in poverty. There is no middle class anymore. There is none. There is class warfare right now between the rich and the, and the poor. I mean, the, the gap is, is growing. I'm tired of hearing that, you know, the the big corporations are say, are crying that they don't have any money when you see all around the world in the country and are, even in Los Angeles that uh, the, uh, the homeless are increasing. Environmental issues. In California, there is no oil extraction tax. So the oil companies take out the oil and we get nothing in California for it. That's totally wrong. I mean, why does a single individual get the right to own resources that are in the ground? That belongs to all of us. They usually get those rights by paying off some politician who we elected. We put all this money into war that we, honestly, there's no point of. So maybe we take some of that money, give it to the people who need health care. I mean... Get out of all these wars we're in. I mean, we came in, like I voted for Obama, we came in to two wars. He got a Nobel Peace Prize. We came into two wars and then all of a sudden we're in three. You know, I, I, we need to get out of our wars. We need to come out and help our own people out on our own soil. I'd like to see people wake up uh, and realize that they have uh, the means within themselves to take this country back, and it's not going to happen until they do. There's too much. Uh, there's too much power at the top, and uh, it's it's a complete uh, imbalance at this point. Uh, and I hope I hope that people uh, realize that uh, that we are the the, the 99 percent of this country that are suffering. Uh, and uh, um, we're, we're basically paying the consequences for the choices and the decisions made by, made by a few. We've been going down this path for 5,000 years. We've hit the wall. I want you to understand that what you're doing here in this city or in this town is being felt in Africa. It's being felt in Europe. It's being felt in Asia. It's being felt in South America. And now it's not a matter of immigrating someplace else. We're We've overpopulated the earth. We're not getting off the earth. So we either all make it, or most of us, or probably none of us.